I would describe my personal style as um, quite influenced by the 70s. I like to wear a lot of, um, a little bit boho, quite relaxed, but lots of bright colour as well. People like Lauren Hutton, Talitha Getty, um, even Farrah Fawcett in the 70s. They're very sexy, but in a, in a laid-back way, not an overt way. I can't wait to wear a lot of bright leather, uh, bright lace, and really interesting textures and embellishments. That was great on the runway, lots of studs, and just, um, I think, prints that... Uh, we've seen mismatched prints before, but they were all done in a new way, and um, pistachio peach, those lovely tones that aren't quite pastel, a bit more zingy than that. Yes, I always have my eye on a lot of wreath pieces, kind of first place I go, um, and it's dangerous, but I, there's a white coat that is beautiful. I think there's nothing more elegant than a white coat, just pristine, it's very elegant and simple and clean, and you can really dress it up or down as you wish, you know, with flats and skinny jeans or um, a great evening dress underneath. There's also a really beautiful um, floral uh, print shirt that's called Josh. I think they named that after my fiance, thanks Reese. Um, so I love that and it's got a matching printed skirt, uh, which I, I love wearing head to toe print, so I will definitely be wearing the Josh. You know, my job actually does affect what I wear in a few ways. Mainly on TV, you can't wear little print and stripes because it pixelates. So, you know, even from a, a very technical perspective, uh, bright colours look much better on TV. I never really wear black anyway, but that doesn't work on TV. So bright colours, bigger prints, uh, quite fitted um, shapes, so you don't look enormous on the telly because it adds £10 to you anyway. Makeup wise, you know, learn how to put on a false lash because they're amazing. Whether you're on telly or not, they are, they, you know, they really kind of pop open the face. Don't be afraid to try colour on your nails, on your lips, on your shoe. That's always, um, if, you're, if you're a bit scared of a new trend, you don't have to do it head to toe. You know, LA style is really interesting. It's kind of two extremes. The red carpet where people are like head to toe in a gown. Um, or on the street where people are quite laid back and um, lots of flat sandals or cute loafers, beaten up biker jackets. I think what I miss about London style is how organic it is. If you go to the East End or as far west as like Notting Hill, you will see completely different styles, but people really do their own thing. It's very eclectic. Notting Hill is where I used to live and I love going back there. I love all the little restaurants and boutiques and um, Westbourne Grove is just amazing. Um, and then Oxford Circus is brilliant if you can face the crowds.